Hello, my name is Dr. Nicola McFadgen. I'm a naturopathic doctor based in San Diego, California. I'm here to talk today about my book, The Beginner's Guide to Lyme Disease, Diagnosis and Treatment Made Simple. It's just been released and is now available through our website, www.lymeforbeginners.com. This book was written um, with the goal of being a resource not only for patients with chronic Lyme disease, but also for their family members and other practitioners and physicians that might be involved in the care of people with chronic Lyme disease. Lyme disease is the fastest growing infectious disease in the United States and possibly even globally. CNN has stated that cases of Lyme disease have doubled since 1991. And yet it's also a highly politicized illness. And a lot of that stems from the Infectious Disease Society of America, or the IDSA, who don't actually believe that chronic Lyme disease exists. The IDSA believes in acute Lyme disease, and they state that acute Lyme disease is fully treatable with between 14 and 28 days of antibiotic therapy. Many of my patients with Lyme have been misdiagnosed and have seen many, many doctors along the way. Some of them have the diagnosis of MS, some with fibromyalgia. I have some children in my practice who've been diagnosed as autism, who are also testing positive for Lyme disease. In many of these long-term chronic cases, people who have been sick for 15 and 20 years, treatment with 14 days of antibiotics is not going to get them well. So we do recognize chronic Lyme disease as a valid problem and many people will need long-term antibiotic therapy in order to get recovery. This book, Beginner's Guide to Lyme Disease, contains lots of, lots of different information. We do talk about the global nature of Lyme. We show some of the studies proving the chronicity of Lyme disease. We look at the historical perspective of Lyme to see how far back Lyme has been shown to exist many, many years. The book also talks about the testing protocols for Lyme disease. One part of chronic Lyme that's difficult is getting an accurate diagnosis. In part, this is because Lyme is immune suppressive, and so measuring an immune marker may not always give an accurate result. But again, the IDSA has played a role in this too and have promoted uh, a testing schedule that leads to a lot of false negatives. A lot of people who have Lyme, where their first ELISA test showed a negative result, and so the idea of Lyme disease was actually dismissed by their doctor. So the book talks about how to get the most accurate diagnosis possible and the testing procedures, not only for, for Lyme, for Borrelia, but also for the co-infections of Lyme. It goes through all the signs and symptoms, a host of different symptoms that may be attributable to Lyme disease, and also signs and symptoms that may give clue, clues into the co-infections that might be present. The book outlines a lot of different treatment protocols also. It talks about long-term antibiotic therapy and a lot of chronic Lyme patients will need long-term antibiotics. So we talk about how to prescribe different ones, which antibiotics are best for which co-infections, um, how to layer antibiotics and combine antibiotics to address the three forms of the life cycle in, in Lyme disease, in Borrelia. It also talks about some of the complicating factors of prescribing for Lyme. Um, including biofilm, which is a sticky substance that the bacteria create in the body and then hide behind. I outline a lot of naturopathic therapies because I do see a large role for naturopathic medicine in chronic Lyme treatment. Not only can herbs be used as antimicrobials and other substances can be used as antimicrobials, but natural medicine can be used to offset side effects of antibiotics. It can also be used to balance the body in other areas that tend to get out of balance in a chronic Lyme patient. 
examples being adrenal support, thyroid support, other hormones. We can bolster immune function using natural mechanisms. Um, so there's a huge role to play for natural medicine in chronic Lyme. Heavy metal toxicity is something that comes up in many of my patients. So the book talks about how to test for that and what are the different options for detoxing heavy metals. We also have stories of hope and recovery. Chronically ill patients who've done their Lyme treatment and who are symptom free and back out in their lives having a good time. Their stories will, um, will describe what they did with their treatment plan, the role of natural medicine and nutrition for them, and things that they thought were most helpful, things they thought were least helpful, things they might have done differently if they had their time over again. I do outline nutritional concepts in this book. I had written a book called The Lyme Diet, Nutritional Strategies for Healing from Lyme Disease, um, and that's been a very popular book to help guide people in their nutritional choices. This book gives a synopsis of that. It gives enough information um, to help guide people on how to eat to optimize their health and, and aid their recovery in chronic Lyme disease. The book also outlines some emotional tools and coping strategies. Lyme is a very challenging illness. Um, the psycho-emotional impacts are tremendous. And a lot of it comes from the roadblocks people face in the medical community, the roadblocks they face from their insurance providers and other caregivers, but also many times from the people closest to them, their family and friends, who just don't understand the extent of what they're going through. So that is also addressed in the book. Finally, um, I have reprinted Dr. Barascano's treatment guidelines as an appendix in this book. So it is reproduced in full. Dr. Barascano is a, is a leader in the field of Lyme disease. He's been working with Lyme for many years. He's now actively in, involved in research um, and development of further laboratory testing for Lyme. Um, I'm also very honored that Dr. Barascano wrote the foreword for this book. So you can read about his story and his um, experience as a Lyme physician here. My hope is that this book will be a great tool and a great resource that people can come back to time and time again. So again, that website is www.limeforbeginners.com. On the website, you'll see the full table of contents. You'll be able to get some excerpts from the book. Um, of course, you can order the book there either in paperback or ebook format. You can also order flyers, so if you host a support group or if you have a physician's office that you think might put those flyers out, then we would gladly send you some of those. And if you'd like to order the book in bulk, you can get up to 30% off the list price. I hope you enjoy the book. Thank you very much.